Marvel Legendary is not a co-op. Except for that it totally is. Or, <laughs> yeah, who cares, really? It's fun to play together. Check it. Three, two, one, bro. That's right, I said it. I don't care what Upper Deck says. Marvel Legendary is not a semi-co-op. It is not a competitive. It is a full-on merging of superheroes, real and fictional alike. It is a full-on cooperative game. Straight up. Now, I know technically that ain't true, but just like Flat Earthers, I'm just going to deny, deny, deny. Technically, yes. Marvel Legendary is a semi-co-op. There is a winner based on who gets the most victory points over who hits the most people the most time. Boom. But... It just doesn't function well as a competitive game. Nothing about it feels competitive other than these tiny little red dots on the villains that have a number on them. I feel like even Upper Deck like wants you to ignore it. They don't make the, the victory points prominent at all. Like you need a magnifying glass to see them. They don't want you to notice that. They want you to, to like just ignore it. And it's just for people who like for some reason can't play nice with their friends. They're like, oh yeah, it's, there's... You're better at Wolverine than this guy. We had a person um, who commented correctly that um, a lot of fellow reviewers and stuff put Legendary, Marvel Legendary, high up on their list of cooperative games. Only problem is it's not a cooperative game. But the fact that everybody seems to agree and play the game one way, to me it's like, ah, well, it's co-op now. Superheroes, it's all about teamwork. Like X-Men and stuff. You know, it's all about like, let's all fight. We can all punch good. I'm curious because the person that played uh, competitively, I don't want to start a witch hunt against this person because that's just how they like to play. And it's totally valid. I'm just, I'm not, I don't want to get that out there. They'd be like, you better go burn this dude who left a comment on my video, bro. I think it's cool. Like this person plays competitively, actually really likes it if you play competitively, has even played games that are super cutthroat. And I'm curious, like, what does that even look like? How do you play a cutthroat game of Legendary? It might be cool. I don't know. So I'm curious, are there other people out there that play Legendary per the actual rules where there are victory points and winners? And do you like to try to deny people certain cards and trying to get cards to make sure that other people can't get good combos? Because I guess there could be strategy there. Um, it's just that was the first person I'd ever seen that actually truly plays the way the game should be played or was designed. And it's super interesting to me. Marvel Legendary is a great game for me. If you want to know about other cooperative games that we quite enjoy, you can click on our top 10 cooperative games that's going to appear at the end of this video. Legendary is on that list. It's high up on that list because I see it as a co-op and so does Nick. Kick, kick. And whether or not you play cooperatively or you'd like to play cutthroat and the shnick shnick claws are out and you're going for your friend's jugular, the more meta, the more better.